All right, welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. Um, today, check this out. We're gonna see how to produce a really cool looking effect with some train, and this is basically built using the soft modification tool. Um, you'll see it over here all the time in the uh, sidebar, and it'll drive you crazy sometimes just knowing that um, it, by default, sometimes gets selected. So, anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to create some terrain from a plane and sort of do a paint effects brush stroke to it here. And as you can see, I'm on Maya software right now. So I'm going to be rendering with Maya software. So go ahead and click on Maya. We're not going to be on Mental Ray. So we want to choose Maya software. And um, essentially, you can see what the scene looks like here. Although in the viewport, it doesn't necessarily look the same. This is what it looks like after a render. So we're going to be using this render mode uh, quite a bit to check out what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that for a second. And I'm going to pull back here. And let's look at the outliner really quick. Um, you'll notice that when I start using the soft modification tool, we're going to have a lot of little handles in here. And that's just something to be aware of as we go through this. So anyway, um, that's about it. So let's get busy. Let's get a uh, new scene going. I'm just going to come up here and go to file and I'm going to go to new scene and uh, I don't need to save the changes and let's come up here and create a polygon plane. I'm going to go ahead and hit the plane there. Let's make a plane. And I have quite a few edit points here which is cool with the polygons because you can sort of you know increase your, um, your face count. Um, let's come over here and as you click on that plane, you can come over to your polyplane and increase it from like a subdivision of 40 to more like, say, an 80. And maybe uh, 80 there. I like to have lots of points uh, when I'm working on a, um, with the soft modification tool like this. So here's what you want to do. We're going to come over here and I'm going to choose that soft modification tool. And it's over here usually uh, right there. And as you notice, um, if you're set up right, you'll have like a, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, you'll see that there's an active area there. So if I were to pull that up, wow, look at that. It basically just creates a, um, you know, a point that you've pulled up off of that plane. Now the cool thing about it is you can use the fall off radius right here and watch what happens when I increase the fall off radius. It basically takes that point and I'm going to go ahead and make a nice, kind of a nice shape like that. All right. So that's how I controlled that, um, you know, that various point on the plane. Really cool. Now that would set our first point on the soft modification tool. And what I want to do is I'm going to come over here and click over here, just anywhere randomly on this plane. And you can see where it automatically attaches that uh, starting point for the soft modification tool. So let's just go through here and sort of, you know, set up some terrain that is sort of, um, I'm going to click, pull, sort of soft and move it up. So click anywhere on the plane and pull it up and let's add some some fall off. Okay, we'll just do that. This just basically gets us started and you can kind of see what's happening. And you can also click on a part, pull up and say you wanted to bring it over here. You can bring it over here or over here or over here or back. So let's try that and let's give it some fall off. All right. So you can see where you can vary some of this uh, geometry just by sort of altering the way it um, is oriented on the landscape. So that's cool. We'll just do a couple more here. I'm going to bring this fall up. up. And that's basically how you use the, um, the soft modification tool. Now check this out. Because I'm active on this area and I've got my fall off curve right here, watch what happens when I grab this and move it up or down. That gives you a little bit more independent variable control over that area. And we can go in and, and adjust this fall off curve on lots of different, you know, handles basically. So that's just something to be aware of. Super cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on over here, maybe make one over here. Let's give it a, a a radius of about there. I'm going to zoom out a little. Let's come in and work on the sides a little bit and give those a little bit of radius. And really what we're after here is just 
creating some terrain that we can work with. Great. Now that I have all of that, I'm going to go ahead and, and just click on my selection tool up here. And this is sort of the what we're, what we're working with to start. So I'm going to come in here and move this around a little bit. And you can see where you know you have kind of some nice terrain uh, to start with there just by basically using the soft modification tool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back off a little bit and we're going to create a light. And so I'll come up here and just create and we'll create a light and we'll make that just a point light, just sort of like a light bulb, you know, hanging from a, you know, a, a electrical cord. And I'm going to bring that light up. Okay. Now the reason that I'm not seeing anything that it's doing here is because I don't have it turned on. So I want to come up here and I want to turn on my light bulbs. There we go. Now I can see. Okay, so let's bring it over there just randomly. Let's bring it up a little bit and you know maybe give it a little bit more intensity. So I'll bring it up to there. So let's take a quick render and see what that looks like. Now I have my render view down here in my dock and that was what we started with that's where we're trying to get and there it is so nothing too interesting at the moment um, and remember we want to be over here in Maya software okay so let's render with Maya for the moment just uh, the the mental ray is a different different deal so let's just render with Maya and there's what we have so that looks pretty cool so far now what we want to do is take a look at what this S means. This is the points of the soft modification tool. So if we come down here and open up the outliner, in this outliner I can see where I have the various handles of all the different points I just created. So that's cool. Let's go to soft mod one handle. Um, that probably would have been the first one I created. And let's click on this shape right there. Okay, you notice that the locator tool has said okay this is the top of that and if I were to move that up or down I now have independent control of that point so that's what that little S means and that's pretty cool because you can come over here and, and still vary your terrain a little bit um, you know if you see something in there that you want to modify so you, you know it'll take a little bit of practice just go ahead and click around to some of these various um, handle shapes and you'll see where it moves accordingly around the scene so that's kind of cool went over there soft seven number eight eight is up there if I pull that one up okay so that's just something to be aware of with the soft modification tool and that's where you handle all of this stuff so great I'm gonna minimize the outliner and let's do something really quick let's create a bump 3d um, texture for this surface now because this is now our terrain we can assign it with some various textural qualities so here's what we're going to do I'm going to come down into the hypershade and we're going to do if you haven't seen the tutorial on the 2d and 3d bump node now is the time to watch it because um, if you don't know how to do this we're gonna, I'm going to go through this rather quickly so I'm going to just create a Lambert material and on that Lambert material I'm going to come down here and assign it a solid fractal so I'll go ahead and click in that box as you can see I have a solid fractal node placement node and then I have the actual fractal itself and then I have the Lambert too now in order to transfer this this texture or this bump to Lambert 2 you want to right mouse click excuse me <laughs> uh, no actually middle mouse grab the middle mouse button you'll see the hand appear drag it over your Lambert 2 and drop it on there but come over into this menu because this menu is important we want to attach it to the bump map value okay so now you can see where our Lambert 2 has that bump node uh, it looks a little bumpy it looks like it has a texture and that's what we're going to assign to this plane so come over to your choose tool and choose the plane and while we have this plane I'm gonna just do it the, the the regular way you can actually middle mouse button on the Lambert 2 and drag and drop it onto the plane and there you go now we actually made the transfer but we don't see anything coming up you know we don't see the texture here well that's because we need to come up here and turn on the textures 
Make sure you're in high quality render mode and turn on your textures. And now you can see that texture is now applied and it was on there all this you know, from the start. We just couldn't see it because we didn't have textures turned on. So with textures on, now we can see it. Okay, so now we have this Lambert 2 connected. And while I'm here, I'm going to just select this Lambert 2. And usually when you select it down here in the hypershade, it should come up here into your materials. You can see that it's a Lambert 2. Here's the color. Well, I'm going to alter that color just a little bit. I'm going to bring it down to something like that. And we'll just give it an off gray color. Okay, so now I'm going to move my hypershade to the side. We can see our terrain, and that technically is not what it looks like. We're going to have to do a quick render view. So if I pull up my render view, that's where we were, and here's where we are now. I'm going to click that on. And you can see it has kind of a nice, you know, just sort of a, you know, bumpy texture. Okay, that's cool. That's what we want. Now we're going to go on to the next step. I'm going to minimize the render view. And I'm going to back off a little bit. And over here in the tabs, if you don't have your tabs called up, try and get your tabs up here and choose paint effects. And under paint effects, you'll notice that there's a grass clump. I'm going to go ahead and click on this grass clump and just sort of paint, you know, a, a clump right in here. All right, so I painted and nothing shows up. Well, I know it's in there because I just painted it in there. So let's bring it up a little bit in, in its overall size, okay? Well, in order to do that, we have to look for the grass clump one and a global scale. And I'm gonna just take this global scale up quite a bit. It was set pretty low to start so now I'm sort of increasing that global scale and that should give me an idea of what what that grass looks like so great it's exactly what we want let's do a quick render there's where we were and hopefully if all goes well you'll see some grass in there okay so that's the general concept now you may want to see that grass a little bit better let's go ahead and minimize the render view and let's look at our outliner real quick and choose that point light that we have in the scene. And let's sort of give that point light just a little bit more, just a little bit more juice, okay? So I'm gonna click off of there and I'm gonna maybe choose my choose tool to get out of the paint effects. And now if we do a quick render, you're gonna notice that this is where we were at before and we're going to see probably a little bit more of that grass value. So it's a matter of balancing between, you know, your, your lighting and the overall diffuse value of your, um, you know, your, your, your Lambert over here. And, um, and that's about it. So watch this. If I take this and maybe move this Lambert value down just a little bit, um, and when I mean value, I'm, I'm saying the diffuse value. I'll just bring that back off a little bit. And now let's take a look at what a render would look like. I'm gonna, I backed off the diffuse value and now you can see where, you know, it's starting to blend in a little bit better. And that's the concept, okay? So that's the soft modification tool. A pretty useful tool. You can use it with any kind of geometry and um, sort of pull points and shape things, so you know, has a lot of possibilities. And now, you know, this is what it, the scene is going to look like. You could do a render and, you know, set up a camera and maybe do, maybe do a cruise through. I'm gonna come over here to my general tools and just sort of choose the tumble tool. And, you know, you could, you could make it kind of go through and you can do all sorts of stuff with that. And, uh, you know, essentially it's the concept we're looking at here, so. That is the concept. So hopefully that'll get you a quick jump start on, on your texturing and uh, working through terrains. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And as always, read a book. <laughs> it's good for your brain. All right, and read the manuals too. So there you go. Stay tuned for another tutorial. Hope you had a good time. See you later.